Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, about the connection. We'll also take a look at their energies or intentions towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so will not resonate with everyone watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and let's jump right in. For Scorpio Spirit. Angels got what messages do you have for Scorpio regarding their person? Spirit, what is Scorpio's person thinking or feeling about Scorpio? What is Scorpio's person thinking or feeling about Scorpio? What is Scorpio's person thinking or feeling about Scorpio? Scorpio. Scorpio's person. What are they thinking or feeling? I don't have the courage to face you. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. I have kept my true feelings buried deep. Wow, I don't have the courage to face you. Every time that I want to reach out, something stops me <laughs> from revealing their true feelings. So this all goes very well together, Scorpio. But right away, I'm thinking of someone who they are the ones that might have made a huge mistake here with you. Spirit changes guides. Clarity, please, for Scorpio regarding their person. What is their person thinking or feeling about Scorpio? What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio? What are they thinking or feeling about Scorpio spirit? What are they thinking or feeling? Knight of Cups. What are they thinking or feeling? King of Wands. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Oh, that's a shame. There's the Moon, bottom of the deck, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, this is that. I've kept my true feelings buried deep. This is someone that I feel has hidden their true feelings from you. Um, I feel like the fact that this connection is so special, maybe you have a strong connection. Maybe there's a situation where this person um, hasn't been able to tell you how they feel for whatever reason. I think that all of this is kind of coming into play now. Um, but I think this is a little bit different, Scorpio. I think this is someone who they messed up, obviously. Something happened between you and this person. And I feel like there probably wasn't closure. There was a lack of clarity. And I'm almost picturing someone like having conversations in their head. What they would say. So let's get some insight here. Tell me more about this person's energy spirit. Tell me more. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? You could be dealing with a water sign, a fire sign, King of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Gemini is here as well. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Oops. Knight of Coin, the Fool. Yeah, so this is, um, <laughs> first, there's the Four of Pentacles. I was going to say, um, this is somebody who I was, you know, because a lot of people could interpret this as Knight of Cups, King of Swords, the Fool, Knight of Coin, a new beginning, right? But what I see is someone taking a risk, opening up, because they're so guarded. They've held back for so long. And so it's a risk to open up here. And with the Knight of Coin, I'm getting that it's going to take them some time. Like I'm almost getting someone that 
is, is being very careful here, very practical. Um, they don't want to take a risk, basically. But the fool is here to kind of remind them that maybe that's necessary. And there's just been this like common theme um, when I've been doing personal readings this week. This common theme that I've gotten about how love by itself, by its nature, is a risky thing to get into. You're risking your heart. You're opening up. You're being vulnerable. And you're trusting someone else with your heart. And you're doing that with the hope that it'll be a strong, healthy connection. But there's also a good chance that you could be hurt very badly. But that's part of the risk, you know. You have to risk your heart to do this love thing. I mean, that's just kind of how it works. Tell me about King of Wands. And of course I'm talking about real genuine love. I'm not talking about something where it's like convenient for you to be together, right? <laughs> Tell me about the King of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands. What's this King of Wands doing here? page of wands yeah this is somebody who wants to reach out and communicate here or at least take some sort of initiative ten of cups give me some insight into the king of wands please why is the king of wands here nine of wands Well, I feel like all of this, yeah, there's the Nine of Swords. I was going to say, I feel like all of this has affected your person, you know, mentally, emotionally. And there it is with the Nine of Swords. This person's not doing well. Um, maybe they they can't sleep. They can't rest. Um I feel like this person's really worried about what to say. And once again, I feel like there's no closure here. So I think that just complicates things, right? Because there's absolutely no... Um, What's what I'm what am I trying to say? There's no like starting point or something like what I'm trying to what, <laughs> I wish I could tell you guys what I'm feeling. OK, so you know how usually when you end a situation with closure, there's like an ending. Right. And you can sometimes go back and just pick up where you left off. But when there's no closure, there's no way nowhere to start from. I hope I'm making sense, Scorpio, because sometimes I wonder. Um I feel like that make, that complicates things. The fact that there is no closure. You don't really truly know how someone feels or maybe things ended badly without closure. And so it's almost like it's going to be twice as hard to start everything over. But I'm telling you, this suppression, this keeping their feelings buried deep, I think it's affecting their, them, like their health, their mental health, physical health. Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Wow, Ace of Coin. Why is the lovers here, Spirit? Why is the lovers here? Ten of Swords. Interesting. Why is the lovers here? First Scorpio, tell me about the lovers. We have the devil Capricorn energy and there's that four of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is literally like your person, especially here in this deck. The ten of swords is a man who his hands are tied behind their back. And the devil card is a card about restriction. It's a card about attachments. Um... I really feel like your person can't rest. They could even be drinking, smoking, coping in the best way they know how. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. 
minus the ace of pentacles here. Two of coin. Okay. So this is when I put these two cards before I put down the the devil card. I thought that this is somebody that is debating between ending something for good and just being like it's over. Scorpio is not interested or, you know, there's no way to come back from this. And then there's this other side of them that's like, I want to try this new opportunity. And it could be that they're just going back and forth, back and forth, and they can't let this go because they haven't made a decision, um, especially with the two of coin. Oh, there's a tower. Yeah, I see them waiting around. You know, they haven't made a decision yet. And so I feel like there it's almost like maybe an obsessive nature here in the sense of like someone that's obsessively thinking about something. Um, again, I feel like this person just can't rest. Can I get one more for the devil? Why is the devil here? Queen of coin. Why is the devil here? Queen of Wands, what? Oh no. Okay, there's the Temperance card. And the Two of Wands, no. <laughs> Sagittarius energy, okay, so, okay. I, di I didn't pick up a third party at all until now. I honestly didn't think that that was a thing for this reading, but I'm starting to think that this person has been juggling multiple things, trying to keep everything um, balanced, I guess. I don't think that this person, um, I think they might have cheated on you with someone else. Or they had someone else all along, something like that. Maybe they chose someone over you. If they did, they regret that. Because this is them looking for something else. So wherever they're at now, they're looking for something else. Sagittarius energy with temperance, two of wands, and look, the two of swords. Yeah, I feel like this person's undecided also, just in general about what to do about you, about the fact that wherever they're at, they're unhappy. Let's see, let's get some insight into their intentions or energies towards you here. Spirit, can I get some insight into this person's intentions or energies towards Scorpio? Can I get some insight, please, into this person's intentions or energies when it comes to Scorpio or this connection? What are their true intentions? More energies towards Scorpio spirit. Second chances. What are their intentions or energies towards Scorpio? Walking away. There. Difficult decision. Okay, so basically the same um, energies. There's the unhealthy attachment at the bottom of the deck. That's like that devil energy and wedding bells. So some of you are probably dealing with someone that's already in another commitment. Um, it could be family stresses, family obligations as well. I feel like this person is trying to decide once again whether to come to you for a second chance and beg for a second chance or um, to walk away here. Can I get another um, energy, please, for this person that Scorpio is dealing with? What are their energies or true intentions towards Scorpio? Patiently waiting. Yeah, they're waiting around and not making this decision. There's the unhealthy attachment again. So, unfortunately, I feel like this person is... I don't see them doing what... I mean, it would take... They would need to take a risk to communicate. Because for them to communicate, it's not just going to be a, hello, Scorpio, how are you? It's going to be a big conversation, a vulnerable conversation. This person could have walked away in the past and they hate, hate that, they did, that they did that. Um, because I could tell you right now, wherever they're at, it's not healthy. It's probably toxic. There's probably codependency, addiction, something like that. 
Um, this could also be like family members, friends, people surrounding them as well that are interfering in some way. Take it as it resonates. But that's what I have for you, Scorpio, in terms of what this person is thinking or feeling about you. Um, I hope it resonated. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Um, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments if you want to share how the story resonated or if you just want to say hello. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of that information is in the description box along with information on my decks and all of the decks that I tend to use. Um, thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.